uh, diverted to two outlets. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is this used for? Uh, see, now as I told you about the three outlet and two outlet, uh -huh. now if somebody have already fixed a two outlet thermostat, mm -hmm. but still they want to have hand shower with it. Okay. Then we will be providing this kind of a button spout and then connect the hand shower. Okay, now say I have installed this mm -hmm. and I have this option for the hand shower. Mm -hmm. What will happen like uh, when I lift this, will this and this both operate or only no, one of them? No, one now. One now. Okay. When you are lifting this, the water completely stops here and it diverts to your hand shower. Okay, got it. Okay. And just to add on with uh, this, as I showed you, we have different ranges, mm -hmm. uh, different designs basically. Mm -hmm. And we have a coordinated design for your wash basin taps as well as sanitary also. Okay, do these require any sort of pressure uh, pump installation? Yes. Uh, these thermostats will work at a very minimal pressure of 0.5 bar also. Okay. Okay, as you are, want to calculate like height wise approximately from uh, the bottom of the overhead tank to the mixer, at least they should have around 15 feet height. Uh, approximately one and a half floor. Okay. Basically like one floor is around 9 to 10 feet. Yeah. So one and a half floor height is what required. Okay. Or if somebody is installing a pressure pump, we need not calculate all that. And okay. that, apart from that, when coming to shower actually, we have different ranges, we have range showers, regular showers, multi-flow showers, all kind of ranges are there. Mm -hmm. So if uh, somebody putting a pressure pump, they can go ahead with any showers they like. Okay. But if they are not putting pressure pump, then we will suggest them which shower is suitable for their requirement. So what, what all uh, does each shower here include? See, uh, when coming to showers, uh, we have rain showers as well, like as you can see. These are all uh, rain showers. Uh, okay. This is a round one. Similarly, we have a square one. Mm -hmm. In round and square, we have different sizes. Okay. Like uh, starting from uh, 6 inches, mm -hmm. we have 8 inches, 10 inches, and 12 inches. Uh, apart from that, as you can see above, mm -hmm. uh, there is a ceiling shower option as well. Mm -hmm. So, uh, apart from this, you mentioned these have rain showers. What yes. are the other kinds of showers? I mean, do you have multiple shower yeah. types in the single shower? Uh, no, in rain showers, as I told you, different sizes, these are all single flow showers. Okay. Okay, when it comes to a multi flow shower, as you can see, this is an air shower basically, mm -hmm. uh, and this is with uh, two functions. Okay. Where you have a massage flow and a rain flow. Okay. And mm -hmm. we call this as air shower because uh, when you on the shower, uh, it uh, the air get mixed with water mm -hmm. and then it flows. So you get that dew drop kind of effect. Okay. So this is a air shower. In this we have like uh, two or uh, three different sizes mm -hmm. and with the single flow are two flows. Like How do I change the flow? You have to turn this. Like as you can see you can turn this like this okay. and operate it. Okay. In showers we have different ranges. Got it. Like a rain shower or a multi-flow shower or an air shower mm -hmm. and as you can see this is a hydrolyte shower. Okay. So it uh, like generates light. When you on the shower with the pressure of water it mm -hmm. generates light. And according to the temperature of the water it changes the color. Oh, okay. like a blue color with uh, the cold water or the warm water will be like a purple color or hot water will be a red color. So, so is this an inbuilt light feature yes, in the shower? Yes, it will have an inbuilt okay. LED light okay. and with the pressure of water it generates the light. So we call oh. it as hydro light. This is also a multi-flow shower. Okay. Uh, this has four functions basically. Okay. Where you have a single shower flow mm -hmm. or the massage or the soft flow and a cascade flow. Massage and all basically it gives you a kind of uh, relief uh, for any kind of pains, body pains and all. Mm -hmm. So like that uh, you have a soft flow which has a soothing kind of effect and cascade is basically you enjoy like a uh, waterfall kind of a flow. Mm -hmm. So like that you have four functions in this. Okay. And uh, similarly this also with the three functions okay. where you have a massage or a regular flow or a mist option. Okay. What is a mist? Uh, it's a kind of soothing effect. Uh -huh. A kind of like cool shower uh, concept. And we have a coordinated hand showers also with the same uh, options. options. Okay. Is there any shower model which you have which has all the types of showers in it? Uh, no, no. Okay. No. So maximum of about three or four types of showers in one shower yes. model. 
Okay, got it. These are the ceiling shafts and obviously even these are the rain shafts. Okay. Okay. And uh, pressure is required because the size of it is uh, slightly bigger. Okay. And uh, you need to do fall ceiling for it as it is uh, like it will have its own installation kit and all. Okay. Uh, it has to be concealed inside the fall ceiling. Right. Uh, and it also gives you a better look. The benefit of ceiling shaft is basically when you put a regular wall mounted shaft, mm -hmm. maximum we can give a two feet rod for any kind of a range shaft. Okay, so this, this is the projection, be yes, that will be maximum two feet. Okay. So when you are taking a shaft, actually you have to go a little close to the wall and mm -hmm. stand. But when it comes to a ceiling shaft, it's not like that. You have a 3x3 three three or a 4x4 four four shaft area mm -hmm. and uh, the ceiling shaft will be just in the center of your shaft area. Okay, so it gives a complete different uh, experience when it comes to showering with uh, ceiling mounted shafts. Okay, and here, like you mentioned, these came with some changing options, but uh, this is only no. a range shower? Uh, no, this is only a single flow range shower. Okay. Uh, we have different uh, range, we can uh, see that in our RT collections. Okay. Okay. And I see some light yes. here. So, uh, is there a purpose for this, like the hydro uh, uh, shower? You this is not a hydro light. This is a LED light, like RGB light, we call it as, with a different color changing option. And okay. we have a remote for this light where you can uh, switch it on or switch it off mm -hmm. or you can change the colors. Mm -hmm. This will be basically to create an ambience in is, the... Yes, one is the ambience okay. and other, uh, apart from the ambience, we call it as chroma therapy light. Okay. So, like medically it's proven, like mm -hmm. uh, this lights will have a different impact on human mind. Oh, like okay. uh, usually this uh, red color will uh, give uh, more energy and the uh, green is like makes a person more calm. So like that each color will have different impact on human. I want to know what is the depth I will require for the fall ceilings? Uh, no, see fall ceiling, I, we don't require any depth. There's nothing like very big equipment which will be concealed inside. Mm -hmm. um, why fall ceiling is required is uh, usually one is the look of it. When mm -hmm. it is a ceiling mounted, the internal uh, pipelines, it will have its own installation kit, all that will be visible. Okay. So, for, to cover that, mm -hmm. to make it look even better, we usually suggest for a fall ceiling. Okay. And usually the fall ceiling uh, should be done at somewhere around 7 feet or 7.5 feet. Okay, because as the shower is very high, mm -hmm. uh, the experience or the pressure of the shower will come down and even the temperature of the uh, shower will uh, like cut off. Reduce. Reduce. Okay. Yes. So, I am assuming about uh, say 6 inches uh, height is enough if I have to conceal all of this? Uh, no, you will get more. So, 1 feet is a minimum required. Like 1 inches. feet is the minimum requirement okay so apart from thermostatic concept we have other concepts also for shower area okay this is a aquamax uh, single lever three outlet diverter okay okay this is also a concealed concept okay even this has to be planned at initial stage itself okay uh, but operating wise this is not a thermostatic mixer mm -hmm. this is a single lever mixer so how you operate this is so as you can see this is on and off mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see, this is a hot and cold. When you lift this, it uh, more or less equally mixes and come. Okay. Hot and cold will mix and come. Mm -hmm. So if you want little cold, you can turn this way. And if you want a little hot, you can turn this way. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is how we mix hot and cold in this. Mm -hmm. And this is on and off. So when you on this, by default, water flows to this uh, outlet here. Mm -hmm. And here we have three outlets. One, okay. two, one, three. Mm -hmm. So basically again one will be your bucket, two is shower and three is your hand yes, shower. Okay. Uh, but in this uh, by default we have three outlet only. If at all you don't want a hand shower and still you want to use this, you can block the third outlet and you can uh, use only the shower in the bucket filling option. Okay, got it. So what's the major difference between the thermostat and the the mixing basically. There okay. you have a locking at 38 degrees mm -hmm. and once you set it and leave it. Mm -hmm. But here there is no locking. So okay. every time you have to adjust the temperature. temperature. Okay. Manual. Got it. Okay. okay. So in this also uh, we have different ranges mm -hmm. uh, like the design, the same Opel Prime or Cubics Prime. Apart from this uh, mm -hmm. we have uh, a regular uh, concept which okay. is with only two outlets. Okay. 
So again, this is a same kind of concept, mixing and all. Mm -hmm. uh, but here, instead of having that knob, we just have a button here. Uh, which so, knob? This instead of this ah, kind okay. of a diverting knob, mm -hmm. we have a, a button here. So basically, how this operates is when you lift the water, by default, the water comes into your bucket filling spout. Okay. And if you want your shower to be operated, you have to just press this. So the water stops from your bucket and flows to your shower. Okay, so this is just one press, not like I have to press it. No, no, it stands with the pressure of water. When okay. you press it, it stands with the pressure of water. Okay, got it. And even in this also, we have all these different uh, models, mm -hmm. uh, range wise, design wise, they can select whichever design they like. Apart from all this, we also have a a uh, very basic uh, concept uh, like this. These are the wall mixers. This will not have any concealed body which should go inside the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, just after your tiling everything is done, this will be fixed. But just the provision has to be done. So okay. this is one of the basic concept. Okay. Uh, so even in this we have different models. So mm -hmm. design wise they can choose whichever design they like. And here you will be manually adjusting the temperature. So we have a separate hot mm -hmm. and a separate uh, cold log. So you will be manually mixing hot and cold. Mm -hmm. And again this is to divert the water whether you want the bucket or the shower. Sure. Okay. And uh, say I want hot and cold uh, diverter even for my wash basin. Mm -hmm. So uh, so is it the same thing no. that will operate no. or is it something else? See as you can see here we have a matching uh, wash basin mixers. So for example according to this, mm -hmm. this is a matching uh, wash basin mixer. So in this we have hot and cold option. Okay, you have dedicated uh, yes. diverters for uh, We don't call it as uh, diverters for it. These are basin mixers. Okay. And uh, we also have only cold option also. Uh -huh. If somebody wants just a cold or hot and cold, we have both the options. Okay, perfect. So these are the shower panels basically. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, these are the exposed concepts. Okay. If this is your wall, this gets exposed like this. Mm -hmm. And in this, what extra you are getting is these are the body shafts. Okay. So this is something extra you are getting, which was not there in all those concept. Okay. So basically, body shower uh, is one used for a body wash purpose, mm -hmm. or it is also used for body massaging. And by default, you'll have a thermostatic mixer in this. Okay. Okay. And you can't make any changes in it. So by default, whatever the shower or the hand shower, whatever options we are giving, mm -hmm. uh, it will be fixed. In few models, we have four and in a uh, few, we have two. Okay. Uh, basically, like uh, in this, you can adjust the angle and uh, you can uh, adjust the uh, like uh, the height of the person. So for this will be for your upper body and the lower body. Mm -hmm. In this, you have a bigger two body shards, whereas in this, we have split it into you know, four. Okay. Smaller ones. Okay. So similarly, we have other panels also mm -hmm. uh, with four or two uh, body shards. And uh, do I necessarily need a pressure pump yes. for this? Yes. For uh, such kind of uh, concepts, pressure pump is must. Is must. Okay. So these are the other two shower panels. Okay. Apart from those two. Okay. So like this, we have a few more models also, but actually we don't have it on display. We can show you. Okay, so how do I go about choosing uh, among, I mean, you've shown me four different types. How do I go about choosing one of those? Is it like just the appearance or there are some features with difference that I, I go for? Uh, see, feature wise, like when it comes to particularly this panel, uh -huh. there's a cascade flow extra in this, like a, a okay. fall, waterfall kind uh -huh. of a flow which is extra in this uh, selfie uh, shower panel. Okay. Uh, apart from that, all other panels will have more or less same features. Okay. But uh, look wise, the color wise, uh, mm -hmm. basically customers choose. Okay, based on their, their, uh, their bathroom and it's got it. Uh, apart from this, we have another option of uh, body shower concept. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the black shower panel mm -hmm. is actually will be your wall. So you can assume this as your wall. Okay. This is just a display panel. Okay. And these are the body shafts. Okay. So here it is everything uh, individually uh, taken and mm -hmm. concealed inside the wall. Okay. This is a customizable concept. Okay. So here you choose what shower you want, mm -hmm. how many body showers you want, mm -hmm. and what kind of a thermostatic mixer you want. Okay. Whether you want a bucket filling option or mm -hmm. the hand shower option. Mm -hmm. So all that is your choice here. 
here we have shown four body charts. Mm -hmm. So if you want only two or three, you can take as you like. Or I can even add two more? No, no. According to like technical aspect, the mm -hmm. pressure, uh, the flow requirement for body charts, mm -hmm. four is what we usually suggest. And I personally feel four is more than sufficient. Okay. Even when you increase by another two numbers, mm -hmm. I don't think it will be making any difference in the uh, experience. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, the placement of body showers can be changed. Okay. As we have placed all four body showers on the same wall here, mm -hmm. uh, instead of this, you mm -hmm. can have like two body showers from front and two body showers on the side. Oh, okay. Like an L shape. Mm -hmm. So you'll be getting body shower from front and from the side. Correct. So that is one option. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, if you are getting an opposite wall like how we have here, you can install two on that wall and two on this wall. Okay, so front and back you don't need yes. to keep turning all this. Yes. Okay. But in that case, uh, you need to have a wall within four feet distance. As mm -hmm. you can see, uh, this is again a waterfall uh, shower. Okay. When it comes to shower options, so mm -hmm. this another shower where we have two variants in this. Mm -hmm. You'll have a, a cascade flow here and a rain shower. Okay, got it. Uh, this is again a wall mounted uh, shower, mm -hmm. so you can choose this shower or instead of this as you saw the ceiling shower, mm -hmm. you can replace it with a ceiling shower mm -hmm. or even a regular uh, bigger size showers also you can replace it with. Okay. And this is a exposed shower pipe concept. If somebody have already done the plumbing and they have the existing uh, wall mixer concept and they want to change it to a something new concept. Then we can suggest these kind of expo shower pipe concept okay. with the same plumbing. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be replaced with a, a shower pipe and a single lever wall mixers. Okay. So look wise it looks uh, very awesome and all kind of options you have. Mm -hmm. A rain shower or a hand shower or mm -hmm. a bucket filling. So okay. in this we have a square concept or the round as well. Okay, and uh, there's only a rain shower or this also comes with? It can be changed. See, showers, uh, it is optional. Okay. Uh, customer uh, choice. Okay. They can choose whatever they like. So, do we have any color options for these? Uh, yeah, like when it comes to colors, uh, we have 10 different color options. Okay. Uh, this is a complete thermostatic shower concept. Mm -hmm. Okay. In antique copper finish. Mm -hmm. So a complete bathroom can be done in any uh, kind of color like whatever okay. color options we have. So small to small fittings we can give you in the same coordinated color shapes. Okay. And uh, is there a waiting period say somebody wants it right yes. tomorrow is it available? No, no, no. See usually for color uh, options uh -huh. we take minimum six, uh, four to six weeks. Okay. from the date of order. But yes. otherwise the others will be usually readily available. Uh, yes. Like when you go for the regular hmm. chrome, chrome finish, finish. It will be available. And uh, what do you think will be an average price difference when somebody tries to upgrade from a chrome to a antique finish or a gold finish? Uh, like we have, as I told you, different uh, color options. So depending on the colors, uh -huh. there is a cost difference when okay. compared to chrome. Like as you can see, this is an antique copper finish. This would be approximately around 50 to 55 percent more. Okay. Uh, similarly, like gold and all will be almost uh, 100 percent or uh, 110 percent kind of uh, more. More. This is actually a gold uh, finish. As you can see, uh, the basin mixer, the accessories, so everything, the complete bathroom can be given in the same uh, finish. Okay. Mm -hmm. And apart from that, we have the uh, shower enclosures for the area. So why we suggest enclosure is for the better maintenance of the bathroom. Okay. So your shower area will be wet and when you have an enclosure, only that area will get wet. And it's a minimal space for maintenance. Okay. Cleaning. Your outside basin and EWC area will be dry. But what about the steam that comes in like when somebody is taking bath with a good amount of hot water and the steam that arises? Because it is open on top as you can okay. see. So that steam comes up. So mm -hmm. a person using it inside maybe he may not feel any uh, kind of suffocation amount. Okay. So this is a two way door option is it? Yeah. This is a corner entry. Basically you have two doors. Okay. And uh, you open it and enter through a corner. Okay. So this is a square uh, corner enclosure. Is there a minimum uh, dimension required for such enclosures? Uh, it depends on your bathroom size. Uh, like when it comes to a corner one, like mm -hmm. a very small size starts with like about 3 by 3. 
3 feet by 3, 3 feet. by 3 feet. Mm -hmm. So apart from that we have this one is particularly a 4 by 4 mm -hmm. or we can give 4 by 3 or mm -hmm. 5 by 4 like the different standard sizes are there. Okay. And uh, this is one of the standard size enclosure. Okay. So when we come to standard enclosures, the benefit of standard enclosure is uh, we uh, have readily available like if a customer wants to install it uh, within a day or a two mm -hmm. uh, it will be readily available and they can opt it uh, quickly okay and as the standard enclosures the cost wise also mm -hmm. uh, will be on little uh, lower side when it comes to a customized enclosure and uh, like when it comes to a glass mm -hmm. these are all 100% toughened glass okay actually the toughened glass are very strong mm -hmm. so it doesn't break that easily but mm -hmm. if by chance even if it breaks it breaks to crystals okay so it will not leave sharp edges and it will not harm anybody Mm -hmm. What is the channel made of? Will it not rust no. because water is going to... See all these are aluminium channels what we have used in this particular model. Mm -hmm. So it will not rust and we are giving 5 years warranty for all this. Okay. Except for the glass all patch fittings will have 5 years warranty. And all these glass will have an anti landscape coating on the inner part of the glass for the better maintenance of it. When you have this anti landscape scale coating the major uh, water uh, will just flush down it oh, comes okay. down it will not stay on the glass uh -huh. so it will be easy for anybody to maintain maintain okay so this is a uh, curved glass mm -hmm. so it's just the same thing but a different shape yes so do we have these are the corner ones with mm -hmm. the standard uh, sizes as you can see here mm -hmm. so this is a partition that is a l shape corner enclosure okay. whereas this is a wall to wall partition when you have all three sides wall uh -huh. and you just want a one side partition mm -hmm. so this is one of them okay those two were standard options yes. but this is a customized yeah. in this also we have few standard sizes okay apart from that if somebody wants to mm -hmm. customize also we have that option as well Okay. Uh, so these are all the uh, wall mounted uh, WC option what we have. Mm -hmm. So mainly to talk about this, uh, now uh, we have all these WCs uh, called rimless WCs. Okay. So main thing as you want to see, mm -hmm. so all these are rimless. Okay. Like the old ones uh, were with rim and holes all over. Yeah. So the maintenance of it is little difficult. Like Correct. you can't clean it and maybe it will form a mark also over a period of time. So now whatever the most of Wonhang uh, WCs we have mm -hmm. are with rimless uh, WCs. Okay. Which is basically easy uh, maintenance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And apart from that all our uh, commodes are with high glazing. So the stains will not happen mm -hmm. and all are with antibacterial glazing. Okay, and yeah. the glazing stays for uh, whatever period yes. of use or? Yes, it will stay for a very long time and uh, we are giving almost uh, 10 years warranty for the bows and the seat cover will have a 5 years warranty. And when it comes to like finishes, mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, launched this matte white okay. and the matte black option okay. uh, in the WC. We have uh, these two models mm -hmm. in this uh, kind of color variants. Mm -hmm. Apart from Wallhung uh, regular WCs, mm -hmm. uh, we have this electronic uh, WC as well. So you can see mm -hmm. these are the two uh, jets what we have, front mm -hmm. and rear jets with oscillation. Okay. And it is also with a hot water option. Okay. So you can set the temperature through a remote uh -huh. uh, for the hot water. It also has a seat heater. So you'll have a very warm seating. Oh, okay. okay. And it will have auto flushing option mm -hmm. where it flushes automatically mm -hmm. and uh, it will also have a dryer. You will also have a flush through a remote mm -hmm. or manual flushing. Okay. By a chance, if there is any power failure, you can manually also flush mm -hmm. and you can also manually operate the jets. Okay. So this, uh, I think it will be a very uh, good system for elderly, for yes. senior citizens yes, or dis disabled ones. Yes. Okay. So this is a wall hung uh, bed spa. Okay. So in this, it, you will not have like auto flushing and all that, but still you will have inbuilt uh, jet okay. with the temperature setting and all that uh -huh. with the seat heater. Okay. So this is a regular flow mounted commodes. Like a uh, few people might have already done. 
uh, plumbing according to a flow mounted WC. So we have very uh, different variants in flow mounted as well. Okay, now one tricky question, what do you suggest, floor mounted or uh, wall mounted? So maintenance wise, look wise, uh, wall hung is always uh, better. Okay. So we usually suggest wall hung. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if plumbing is already done or any scenario like few people will still like floor mounted. So we have the options for floor mounted. Yes. Okay, perfect. So what we have here is all the tabletop wash basins. Okay. Where you have to make a counter and place the basins on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, apart from tabletop, we also have a countertop wash basins like this. In this, what happens? The half basin goes inside, something like this. Uh -huh. So okay. you'll be cutting your counter and uh -huh. placing it like this. Uh, so this is one of the uh, wall hung uh, wash basin. Okay. When compared to a very regular wall mounted uh, wash basins where you have a pedestrians kind of a basin. Mm -hmm. uh, this is one of the designer uh, single piece uh, wall hung uh, wash basin. So this is a regular uh, wall mounted wash basin with pedestrian. Okay. Uh, we have very different uh, variants uh, in this. So this is one of the uh, hot and cold basin mixer. Okay. So if you want a hot and cold or only cold, all the options are available mm -hmm. in all the designs. So this is a tabletop basin. So for this basin, you can either have a wall mounted basin mixer mm -hmm. or you can have a tap from the counter. Okay. But if you want to do a wall mounted basin mixer, it has to be planned at initial stage itself. Okay. Like at the plumbing stage. Mm -hmm. As I told you earlier, even this model will have a concealed unit mm -hmm. which needs to go inside the wall. Right. Okay. Whereas the regular table tops with a tall boy like this. Mm -hmm. So you need to have a taller one like this. Okay. For such kind of a tabletop basins. Mm -hmm. Either a tall one or from the wall. You mix hot and cold in this. Okay. Same. same single lever mixer. Mm -hmm. They will just give one hot and one cold point below the counter level. So when it comes to a flushing system. Uh, so for any wall hung uh, WC. Mm -hmm. This will be the common concealed system. Okay. Okay. So this is a unit which basically goes inside your wall. Okay. This is the concealed system uh -huh. and only this plate will be visible. Okay. So this will have uh, two buttons, one mm -hmm. for half flush and full flush, mm -hmm. like 3 liters and 6 liters. Okay. Okay. And this is a tank. Okay. So if there is any servicing required or any kind of maintenance, mm -hmm. you can actually remove this plate okay. and you can access the whole tank. And uh, these are the different uh, plate options what we have, 8 different models are there. So again these are the coordinated designs with our faucet range. We have uh, different options uh, like spa or uh, sauna, mm -hmm. the whirlpools, uh, steams and the swim spas as well. And uh, this is one of them, we call it as uh, spa. Okay. And this is a two seater spa basically, mm -hmm. uh, where two uh, person can use and you have a complete body massaging uh, jets in this. Okay. Do you also get this for one person? Uh, you, no, usually this uh, spa starts with two people. Okay. The two seater basically. Mm -hmm. We have three seaters, five seaters, uh, eight seaters or as well. Okay. Here, once you fill in the water, you can retain the water for minimum two to three months. Oh, this will have inbuilt filtration system. Oh wow, that's a very uh, nice way to save a lot of water yes. and still have a hygiene. Okay, and this can be kept outdoor as well. And it also comes with a cover. So whenever you're not using it, mm -hmm. you can just cover it and keep it. Can you explain a little about the system? See, those are the uh, controls to operate the jets or to set the uh, temperature mm -hmm. and all those things. Mm -hmm. And apart from this, this particular model mm -hmm. has inbuilt speaker in it. Okay. And That's what it. are these? Those are the pressure regulators basically. Okay. Uh, like air mixing or uh, Pressure controller. Kind mm -hmm. of what kind of power consumption it has, or what kind of socket or provision I will need beforehand? So, uh, basically, maximum uh, 15 amps uh, socket is what uh, required uh, for this okay. uh, for the power. Uh -huh. So, maintenance is what, like once in. Uh, nothing like that. So, any wellness products you are taking from Jaguar will be uh, giving four uh, free service visits okay. in a year. Uh, apart from this, uh, so these are Sona units. This is actually a two seater uh, Sona. Okay. 
with the stove heater. Okay, so we have a stove heater there. Uh huh. And what about the heat? I mean, we will have to... a ventilation there. You can okay. actually open that and uh, the heat uh, exit from there. Okay. This is a pine wood. Pine wood. Okay. Yeah. Which can last very long, like even a thousand of years. Also, this mm -hmm. will last very long. Mm -hmm. It generates high temperature, mm -hmm. uh, which actually detoxifies uh, your body. Okay, and uh, helps you in uh, like calorie burnings. Okay, and that stuff. How do I operate it? The controls are everything there only. Okay, where you can uh, operate the uh, sauna. And what's the time requirement for for the space to get heated or? Uh, when you think? switch it on, uh, maybe uh, by 10 to 15 minutes, uh, it, the whole cabinet will get heated up. Okay. And once it is heated, a person can get in and take uh, sauna for about 10 to uh, 10 minutes or max 15 minutes. Okay. Like so, is this sauna unit customizable? No. These are standard sizes. These are the uh, whirlpool options what we have. Okay. Like we spoke about uh, spa actually. Mm -hmm. uh, but when compared to spa, these whirlpools are basically designed for only indoor. Okay. Uh, this can't be kept outdoor. Mm -hmm. But even these are for complete body massaging purpose and okay. for complete relaxation. And uh, this is the control panel again for water jets, air jets. You can increase and decrease the pressure of jets. Mm -hmm. If you want, you can add the sanitizing liquid there. And if you press this button, it cleans the pipeline. That's for after use, right? Yes, after use. Okay. So like this, we have different size according to their bathroom uh, sizes, their requirements. We can suggest. So, uh, in this uh, we have different models, maybe uh, that's the single seater you were asking for. Uh -huh. so this is one of the uh, single seater unit with the oval shaped one. Okay. We have it with different shapes also. Uh -huh. This this is a steam cabinet, okay. basically. Uh, so, if uh, you are looking for a steam option, we have two concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the ready steam cabinet options okay. where you have inbuilt uh, steam with uh, shower options. Mm -hmm. We'll have a shower with hand shower with body jets, mm -hmm. everything what all required for a showering purpose. Mm -hmm. You can use this for your showering purpose as well as for the steam. Actually, uh -huh. you can see a box kind of a thing there. Yeah. So the steam comes out from there. Okay. Okay, and uh, you'll have two jets here with the ceiling shower, with the hand shower, two function hand shower, mm -hmm. and you'll also have a chromotherapy light surrounding to it. Okay. Uh, so, different color changing option in that. So, uh, again, this is a standard size or yes. is it custom? This is a standard size. So, you were mentioning this is wet steam. What's the difference between your wet and dry steam? See, sauna Steel. is dry. Okay. So there, there is no moisture, there is no water. Mm -hmm. uh, the heat is generated, high temperature will be generated. Uh, here it is high humidity. We also have uh, steam generator options with different capacity. Okay. Uh, like uh, 4 kilowatt or 6 kilowatt or 8 kilowatt or 9 kilowatt, like that different capacity are there. Mm -hmm. So depending on the cabinet size or the room size, we can suggest different uh, capacity of steam generators which is a customizable concept okay actually even this has to be uh, planned before plumbing uh, because the steam pipes and all has to be concealed inside and uh, this again we need a completely enclosed partition yes yes okay. we actually do that also i just showed you this regular enclosures mm -hmm. uh, the ceiling also can be done okay uh, for the steam basically mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, completely enclosed uh, steam cabinets also will be provided from Jackpot. okay so now we are going to go through the geysers the hot water solutions so we have water heaters mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, starting from a small instant uh, geyser mm -hmm. uh, to gas geyser mm -hmm. then we also have storage water heaters okay. with different capacities mm -hmm. uh, starting from uh, 6 liter to 10 15 25 or above that will be a, like 40 60 80, 100 liter kind of capacity with horizontal or vertical uh, models. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are the few vertical uh, models with uh, 25 and 15 liters, mm -hmm. uh, where we have digital option as well as manual option. Okay. And again, this is a digital uh, designer model. In digital, what happens? You will have a remote where you can exactly set the temperature. And apart from that, you will also have a timer setting. Mm -hmm. Like you want to switch on the geyser morning 5 o'clock. Mm -hmm. You need not get up at that time and switch on the geyser. You can set the timer mm -hmm. 
so it gets on by itself and this is a instant uh, geyser regular instant geyser where you can use it for kitchen or powder rooms kind of a thing mm -hmm. and this is also an instant geyser uh, it's a insta prime series mm -hmm. uh, which can be used for a showering purpose as well uh, what's the capacity this will be starting with 9 kilowatt Okay. Uh, so we have 18 kilowatt, 24 uh, kilowatt like that. And how many liters of uh, hot water? Uh, it can give up to depending on the uh, capacity. Like even your bigger rain showers, even your body shower concept also uh, can operate through this. Oh, okay. Okay. Or as uh, usually regular instant geysers, uh, we we don't suggest for uh, showers. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are the storage uh, water heaters. Mm -hmm. And all these can withstand up to 8 kg of water pressure. Okay. If you are installing a pressure pump or if it is a very high raised apartments, the water pressure will be very high. And uh, where do I use a, a vertical and where do I use a horizontal? Uh, see, these are all vertical geysers. All these are used where it is exposed. Mm -hmm. Even this one also. Obviously, when it comes to digital, uh, it should be exposed on the. Mm -hmm. uh, we have regular manual horizontal geysers, mm -hmm. uh, which can be concealed inside your fall ceiling. Few people will plan in that way also. We have a centralized water heater option. Okay. So instead of having individual geysers in each bathroom, uh, so aesthetical look of the bathroom also will uh, be good mm -hmm. when you don't have a geyser inside the bathroom. Mm -hmm. uh, you can have a centralized water heater option. You can keep it on terrace mm -hmm. and connect to all the bathrooms. Like in a house, you will have 4 bathrooms or 5 bathrooms. Mm -hmm. So you can keep it on terrace and connect to all those 4 to 5 bathrooms. Okay, so this uh, basically has to be taken care of in construction stage itself? Not construction, maybe plumbing stage. Okay. Uh, plumbing stage they can plan so that piping can be done accordingly. Mm -hmm. And in the centralized uh, water heater, we have two variants. One is a regular uh, water heater. And we also have heat pumps. Okay. Okay. So the difference between a regular water heater and a heat pump is actually heat pump is an energy efficient product. Mm -hmm. When compared to regular geysers, heat pumps will consume very less electricity. Okay. Almost three times lesser. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually that works reverse of your AC. Mm -hmm. It will take the ambient air from the atmosphere. It will compress that into hot air and heat the water with the hot air. Okay. So, in this process, the consumption of electricity is very less. Mm -hmm. So, the running cost is very low. This will also need um, electric connection, yes. right? So, when you mentioned I can keep it in terrace, it has to be in a concealed room? Uh, need not be. Like, uh, this is a regular geyser, that is a heat pump. Mm -hmm. So, regular geyser, if you want to put it inside a room, also you can put it. But usually, heat pumps, uh, we suggest to keep it outside only. What about rain then? Nothing will happen. You can, if at all you want, you can just give a shelter. Okay. It need not be covered all over. So these Brief. are all the uh, accessories uh, options what we have for a bathroom basically. Uh, so these are all the towel racks and these are the shelves, multi-purpose. You can keep your shampoo, bottle, soap, dish, all that. And we have single towel drains. Instead of a rack, if there is no space, you can take a single towel drains. And then we also have these towel rings for small towels near your wash basin area. And uh, we also have these uh, toilet paper roll holders. And these are the liquid uh, soap dispensers, toothbrush paste holders. These are the row hooks behind the door. And uh, shower baskets for soap and uh, loofahs kind of a thing. And those are the uh, towel holders and the grab bars. So, more than this, we have few options on our catalog and website. You can go through the other accessories as well. So, uh, this uh, is a swim spa basically. We call it as Aqua Gym. Uh, it's again an outdoor uh, model. You can keep it on open terrace area or garden area or even indoor also. Mm -hmm. It will not be like particularly outdoor. Mm -hmm. uh, this one is with swim and spa. It's combination of both. You will have a swimming area here and you also have a spa area on that side. Mm -hmm. uh, this will have a four seater uh, spa and one person can swim here. Mm -hmm. So this will also have inbuilt filtration system so there is no water wastage in this. And it is also with again inbuilt heater so that you can heat the water. This is like a endless pool concept like okay. a jet well. You swim against the opposite current jets. Uh -huh. So as in when you swim, those jets push you back, Okay. like a treadmill concept. Mm -hmm. And even on these two corners, 
we have uh, jets where somebody can stand and relax. Okay. Even this comes with a thermal cover. You can cover it and keep it. Okay. What's the depth? It will be almost four feet. Okay. Right. And for the swim area, uh -huh. there you have a seater uh -huh. where you can sit. And uh, does this has to be concealed? Like, do we have to have a one floor space below and then put this system? No, it can be kept on the floor like this. We have okay. uh, steps for it mm -hmm. to enter into the pool. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to like a kind of conceal it, you will have to provide a service area all over. Minimum two feet uh, duct you will have to make. Okay. If at all you want to conceal it inside. Mm -hmm. Or else you can just keep it all above the floor. Okay. And uh, this again is operational with uh, electricity, so yes. it be a 15 amp point for this also? Yes. yes. So in this again we have different variants also. If at all that somebody doesn't want a spa area and just want a swim option, mm -hmm. we only have uh, aqua swim mm -hmm. or we have a bigger version of this where you have a bifurcation. So where you have a swim area separate and a spa area separate. Mm -hmm. So those different variants are there. Okay, got it.